basically my worst nightmare that I've had for the past two months has now manifested. Ambulances are coming every 30 minutes and the ERs are overwhelmed. Artificial ventilation is basically the main method of treatment right now. And we have finite number of ventilators. Before coronavirus, anybody who needed a vent always got a vent. And now there are conversations and I see hospitals even coming, already coming up with protocols of who is gonna get the vent and who won't. And I honestly, I don't even know how to live with that after that. This is very deeply, I guess, disturbing. I mean, I went into this profession to be saving lives. You know, before I would come home and I would just forget about the hospitals, kind of be able to switch off. But now, I can't relax ever. I put shoes outside, I spray them with Lysol, I strip off my work clothes right at the entrance. But even after that, I don't feel I'm safe, right? Because I may still have it and I may still be giving it to my loved ones. I will never. I will <laughs> what are you telling him? Hmm? You have no idea about coronavirus or any of that. Such happy times, no worries, carefree. Hmm? Right, Blondie? Blondie. Blondie. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my colleagues already separated from their families temporarily. But for me, it's impossible to rent a second apartment right now. It does seem like a war because you're risking your own health and your own life. This is the scariest disease I've ever seen. But I will go to work no matter what. I do what I gotta do. I know people need me and I get up and I go to work. <laughs>